Good morning, everybody. Bright and early morning, unfortunately. This is my mommy morning routine while my husband is in quarantine because he has been tested for the coronavirus and he is not allowed to be around any of us, but we had to make a little bit of a compromise, so I'm going to show you what we do. So I have to get up even earlier now to get things ready at the ripe hour of 3.45 a.m. I am getting up, I'm just going to turn the TV off because I slept with it on last night. I am sleeping on the sofa because my husband is confined to our master bedroom. Now if you go watch my video of me doing my nighttime routine, you'll see that I prepare everything at night before I go to bed. What I'm doing is I am taking everything out of the fridge that I've already prepared for my children, which is their breakfast, they're getting pancakes and a couple of other things. I've already made an iced coffee for myself. I poured orange juice out into cups. I'm trying to make this as quickly and efficient as I possibly can because I do have to get up so early. And I also don't wanna be making a bunch of noise and waking my kids up at 4 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some syrup on their pancakes, get their forks out, and just kind of finish up what I didn't do yesterday before I went to bed. Now I'm going to lay these out on the table and that way it's there for when the girls wake up. I will put their juices on the table and I'll also take over their Kindles. I was charging their Kindles overnight. I am going to place those next to their plates so that they have something to do as well. Now if they wake up before I am done teaching at 8 a.m., Danny will put on a face mask. He'll scrub himself entirely down, open the door for them and let them come out and he'll just kind of keep an eye on them and supervise them but keep that six foot distance. So here's my coffee. I brewed the coffee last night and I'm just finishing it off this morning. That way I don't have to worry about the coffee machine making a ton of sound and waking them up because trust me, the coffee machine has waken them up before. The next thing I'm doing is taking a bottle into the baby and the pad into Danny's room so that he can keep an eye on them if needed. And I am headed downstairs. When I get downstairs, I will use the restroom, I'll brush my teeth, I put my contacts in just for teaching. I'll take them out when I'm done, but I will put them on so that I don't have a glare on my glasses and I'll put some eyeliner on because guys, 3.45 in the morning, not gonna lie, sucks. So I look really terrible. Now our lights in our basement are starting to go out, so I'm using one of my studio lights to brighten up my classroom. Otherwise it looks like I'm teaching in a dungeon. So here we go, putting my headset on, getting ready to teach. I'm gonna drink some of my coffee. I usually check YouTube, respond back to some comments if I have any comments or questions on my YouTube channel, and then I start teaching. It is really hard to look this excited and enthusiastic at four in the morning, but I do teach little kids who are pretty hyper and they kind of get you pumped. You know, if they're having fun, you're having fun. If you're having fun, they're having fun. So yeah, but as you can tell, I'm very tired, like really, really, really tired. And this coffee is the only thing that's going to get me through the day. Once I'm done, I take off my headset and I go upstairs and we kind of do this whole thing in reverse. So I get to turn off my light, go into the bathroom, take my contacts out, gonna go head upstairs and see my girls. So they did wake up a little early. It was only a couple minutes though, so thankfully it wasn't anything major. And yeah, they're eating their breakfast. Now, I usually come upstairs and I'm starving, but I don't get to uh, eat right away. We are having a dance party. This is what they wanted to do as soon as I came upstairs. They wanted to dance. Yes, we're dancing to Weird Al on the TV. I'm not sure if you can tell, but we are dancing to Weird Al on the TV. And yeah, I don't know. This is, this is our dance party. Welcome to our dance party. Doors open if you want to join. Now the next thing the girls wanted to do for some reason is they wanted to take a bath this morning and it wasn't like they just wanted to go get clean, like they wanted to play in the bathtub and nothing was going to stop them. 
So we filled up the bubble bath. I'm not going to say no to that. They have so much fun playing with each other. And little Evie loves to run around in her walker and she'll actually just sit in the doorway and watch them or play with them. And she gets so excited about it too, but she does not want to get in the bathtub with them. So I will not put her in, but yeah, that's that. Um, here's Kaylee finishing up brushing her teeth. They got changed into matching outfits and I am trying to clean up after them because well they are a little bit messy and they leave things all over the place. Now I am going to start making my breakfast. I am going to make biscuits and gravy. The girls have gone back to eating, gone back to dancing. It's just a hot podge of things. Kaylee likes to change the channel a lot made some eggs. It's just all over the place. I can't seem to finish a task from start to finish in one go. It's kind of like taking flights all across the country. You've got to stop at three different destinations before you finally get to your final destination. But anyway, after I'm done eating, we just sit around, we play, we just kind of hang out. There's nothing too exciting going on. But I'll sit down for maybe half an hour, start cleaning up my breakfast, and then I'm actually going to start working on lunch because I made some hard-boiled eggs and I will be making an egg salad sandwich, but I made it all from scratch. So of course, I just get to make another mess. I've really only ever made egg salad once before and it turned out really well and it turned out pretty well this time too. So if you haven't tried to make egg salad sandwich before on your own, I definitely recommend it, but it does take a little bit of time, it gets a little bit messy, and unfortunately you can't really find eggs anywhere right now. We're just going to be hanging out and playing for the rest of the afternoon, guys, so I think that's probably going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and check back within five or six days. I'll be able to tell you if Danny's results were positive. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.